our 3D mesh model has appeared. Um, if it doesn't, and it still looks like the dense cloud, you just go over here to the left in the workspace pane and double click your 3D model. So that looks pretty good so far. This is your mesh model. Uh, it already looks pretty realistic because we calculated those point colors. So you're seeing you know, the colors and seeing how this model is starting to take shape and look more realistic. So the last step um, for before we build a model using depth maps is to put a texture. And you're using your photos to create a more realistic texture surface on this model. You know, make it look more true to its um, realistic, you know, the objects that you were taking photos of. So we're going to go to workflow here and go down to build texture. And so you're going to see some more parameters, some more options, such as texture type, source data, mapping mode, blending mode, etc. So these go into a lot more detail, and I highly recommend reading in the Metashape manual um, with whatever version you're using. This one is for version 1.6.0, uh, I believe. But in short, I'll just try to briefly explain some of these but not go too much into detail. The texture type, um, using diffuse map, it uses the colors and textures from the images as the basic texture and stores those colors um, of the model surface. And the occlusion map is a texture that already contains pre-calculated shading information. So we're going to use diffuse map. Your source data um, we're using images. That's what we want to get our texture from is the images. The mapping mode, how it's going to put that texture on our model, there's a few different options. This is kind of how the model texture is going to be packed in the texture atlas. So helping know how to pack it will help give you a better visual quality of your final texture model. So the default is gen generic and we're going to stick with that um, because it kind of gives that texture atlas for like a true 3D model, an arbitrary geometry of 3D model. So it'll create as uniform as a texture as possible. Um, for example, like orthophoto, it'll create a pretty detailed, you know, texture, but not on vertical. So, you know, like we're looking up here for bird's eye, looking at it flat, the texture will look pretty good. But if we were to rotate it and look at it from the side, you know, texture won't be as high of quality as generic. And you can read about these other ones in the manual. For example, single cameras just saying, I want to build my texture from one single photo. So we're going to use generic. Our blending mode, we're going to use mosaic. It's the default. Um, again, it goes into a lot more detail, but we're going to go into that. Your texture count is kind of your quality and resolution of the texture and we're going to stick with what they recommend just 4096 times one now there's these boxes here you can check or uncheck in the advanced settings like enable hole filling or enable ghosting filter enable hole filling is saying okay the mesh model might have left some holes now can you fill those with the texture um, and then enable ghosting filter is kind of if you have thin objects or moving objects that were not reconstructed, um, switching this on will kind of remove that ghosting effect. Um, but we don't really have that issue with this model and usually default most of the time I, I leave that unchecked or check enable old filling. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that and press OK and it'll build your texture. And again, this could take only a few minutes, um, maybe even a few seconds, or you know, take five, ten minutes or so. Just go ahead and pause and come back when you're ready.